y'all guess who just filmed a video and it has no audio on their on their camera this girl this girl filmed a 20 minute video about college life and it has no sound and I need to upload today so y'all I guess it's time for a story time I need a thumbnail I mean I'm trying to get a thumbnail y'all so I'm gonna have to edit this part out Let me turn my cap around. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Y'all, so this is not clickbait. Your girl actually witnessed a robbery. I'm going to get to why I'm doing the quotation marks right now. Okay, so that was two days ago? Tuesday. Okay, guys, today's, today's Saturday. No, that wasn't Tuesday. That was Thursday. Okay, so Thursday, guys, I had decided that I was going to go to the hair store because they were having a, a sale over here at the Twins Beauty Supply on Antoine. If you're from Houston or you're just from the north side in general because I feel like Houston is just too big. If you're from the north side, you know, especially like Acres Home, area then you know about twins beauty supply like they sell really good bundles so lo and behold y'all they was having a sale it wasn't really a sale sale because i feel like they have these the same prices all year round but it was tax free and i had the money right so i was like let's go and go get my bundles because i want them I'm, I'm not gonna wear them now i'm gonna wear them in the fall but you know lo and behold i just had the money and i've been wanting them for a while now so i just decided i was gonna go get them right Okay, now let me tell y'all about something. Um, let me tell you how it all went down. Okay, so as me and Shasta are, if you guys don't know, Shasta is my best friend. I don't have a car anymore. So Shasta drove me. And um, we were pulling into the parking lot. And what I noticed was that it was a car of young women on the side. Now, they didn't really raise any red flags to me. Like, they were out of the way of the... They weren't nowhere near the beauty supply. If you know how Antoine is, then you know you're coming up from the side street and the, the buildings start right here. They were parked right here. So, the street is here. They were parked on the other side of the building, but the hair store is over here, right? So, you guys get an idea. So I'm trying to, you know, word it correctly. Okay. So, when we saw them one of the girls had on scrubs and you know scrubs are just very noticeable to see you know like you can't miss somebody in scrubs so i saw her she had on some green scrubs and she had on a white coat like a doctor but obviously a nurse you know an rn or something i don't know nothing about no medical field but i know obviously you could tell that she worked at a hospital so when i saw her um i was just like oh she works at a hospital i but what in the, at the same moment i'm like um, I guess she's getting off of work because she was getting inside of the car and I was like oh maybe they just picked her up from the little doctor's office because there isn't one far from twins but also in the same mentality I was thinking that there was like a little small you know ghetto not ghetto you know like a little clinic in the same parking lot not that I actually cared to look for it I just assumed automatically but let's go so me and Shasta pull up, we get out of the car, we walk in, we walk up to the bar, to the, not the bar, we walk up to the counter and we're there for like literally, um, I would say a minute y'all, a minute and 30 seconds. And eventually those girls came into the store behind us. Okay. So why, when they came in, cause the, you know, the door dings, you know, you, we looked and, um, and we just went on about our business and i i was not a, you know i was not on edge or anything y'all but in my mentality i was like let me hurry up and get my stuff and we can go because i i, was, I had to be at work this was happening almost at like one o'clock and i needed to leave i needed this was close to one and i needed to catch the bus at 1 30. so this was like 12 12 45 ish you know and um lo and behold when they came in i was at the counter but i was like wait let me go get my earrings so that when I, I'm, I'm, my mentality was like, let me get my earrings first. 
and then I'll come back and look at the bundles and pick out which, you know, which pattern I want. Okay, so I go get my earrings. Now, remind you that they went over like an hour over from us. But also, guys, they like, I don't know if they cut onto the first aisle, like right when you leave the door, or did they walk right behind me? I'm not really sure because I wasn't paying attention to them, but I was aware, if that makes sense, right? So I go and get my earrings and I come back and I hand them to the cashier because, you know, never in a million years am I thinking something finna go down. I just knew that I wanted to get out of there. Like that was already embedded in me, you know? I didn't want to stay there that long and plus guys I had I didn't want to say I was rich but I had I had some money that I was saving that I was planning on spending and it wasn't Bitcoin but y'all know um I live in Acres home and Antoine the hood so I was just like I think that's why I was like that like let me hurry up and get out here before somebody steal my bundles as I walk outside like I think that was what I was really thinking so um me and Shasta, we are at the counter and I haven't got my earrings on. I'm not a hand to the lady and everything. And um I I don't know where they came from, guys, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if they walked straight behind me and went to the other counter, to the other cashier, or did they just come up another aisle that was closer to the door? I didn't see them. Cause I was too busy, you know, looking at bundles. You know, it was it was there was some nice looking bundles. I was looking at all the curls and patterns and you know, I had heart eyes and whatnot, starry eyed and I was just like, guess I'm finally getting my bundles, bitch. Like, fast forward y'all. So I'm up here, I kid you not, y'all, they have surveillance camera. You see me on the camera. I literally asked the lady. So at first I asked her what curl pattern was this and that was the deep wave. Okay guys, by the time, and then she told me that was deep wave, right? Okay, my next question was, what is this curl pattern, the second one? And this is what I'm saying. That's what I said to her, and I pointed. Y'all, no more than while I was pointing, them girls was already at the second counter, acting like they were getting ready to pay for stuff. They act like they had two separate transactions, and the first girl had her bundles out on the countertop. And, um... And the other girl was behind it, holding her. Okay, y'all, I watched the surveillance video because it's on the news. And um, the set, the second girl who was not at the counter, she took off running first. And the girl who had her bundles, bundles on the counter, just like, ugh, she like wrenched over and snatched them and just ran out the door. And then she dropped a, a bundle, but then she picked it back up and she ran outside, right? But the old man, he had, uh, he had took like two bundles from her hand. Uh, and then she ran out the door and here come the old man. He flipped the counter because you know that that's where they keep where they can walk through. You know, they got that wood right there. Girl, he flipped that counter so hard and took off running after them, y'all. I was just standing there like, like you see me. Like I went like this. I went from pointing to like, girl, I was, I was scared, bitch. I was scared. Cause like low key I was having that like somebody was gonna rob me already in my mind and y'all when I just seen them girls run out of there y'all I was just like oh my god because you know the button thing went off you know you know like the little sensors that they have and then they push the button and here come the other lady I don't know y'all know the Chinese lady who worked at Twins she just came running it was y'all it was a lot it was a lot it just it took me by surprise I know my anxiety was through the roof okay. Ooh, I had to get a, a, a hit of my pumpkin spice. Let me get another one. Ooh. Y'all, I don't think I've ever been so scared because what I'm what I'm low-key grateful for is y'all that they did not lock the door on them and lock them into the store. Oh <laughs> girl, girl. Girl, what if they would have locked them? Lock, y'all, I was standing at the counter, y'all. They weren't even five feet from me. Damn near. About five feet. That was how far they were from me. Y'all, and obviously, y'all, no, no, I'm not, I'm not throwing no shade, y'all, but the bundles that they stole, they weren't even that expensive. I know because I've had that hair before. It doesn't last very long. It's very high maintenance because it's cheap. Which is why I had to spend a little extra, you know, a little bit more money. My hair came from behind the counter, but the hair that they stole was on the floor. So you guys know, like, hair that's on the floor, it ain't all that, you know. It's a little cheap, you know. You might find a little steal, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still a little cheap. Y'all, who's to say that 
but you know they wouldn't have came up to me and knocked me upside the head and took my little two hundred dollar hair Who, who's to say and y'all that is just how it's just amazed me how they decided to go to the store while we were at the store and i know they weren't planning like let's go to the store while victorian shots at the store and scare them beyond straight like i know that that wasn't a plan y'all but i'm telling y'all like that's just how so like so how fast something bad can happen because y'all not only did they steal the hair but the old man ran after them if you've seen it on the news then you've seen the video but i don't know how to edit the video into this so y'all just gonna have to take my word for it or y'all just gonna have to go to abc and look for it because i'm pretty sure it's on abc 13 look for it um the old man tried to he chased after them and he got to the car door as the last girl got into the car now i don't know if he had her by her shirt or something and they closed the door or was he holding on to the doorknob but they drove off and basically he tumbled and when he came back into the store he showed us like he had like this huge like obviously burn because he fell like if someone who is willing to do that type of harm behind something so little i mean y'all see how the world is you know people just shoot up walmarts because they don't want no more tex they don't want no more mexicans in texas you know despite the fact that texas texas was mexico's first I, I don't i don't really know i don't i don't really know but like y'all like that just showed me how something bad could happen just so fast while you're there and you just wouldn't you all you could do is either sit there or become a victim of it and um it just happened so quickly y'all i'm not even it shook me because now it's on the news they're talking about they're calling it a robbery and i understand that they only took hair you know they only took hair i'm trying to make sure that my lighting doesn't get messed up they only took hair they said that they took about 500 dollars worth of hair about about because y'all that's still a cheap hair and i guess it could really add up because it looked like they had three four or five four heads worth of hair and you know once after you you pass up like 18 inch that's when the bundle start costing like 150 dollars you know they start to get a little pricey but y'all they're calling it a robbery um i don't know if you know this obviously is something else now because they hurt the old man in the process you know and so now like you you you've committed this crime first of all in front of all of these people because it wasn't just the store people and it wasn't just me and shasta there were other people too you know and um you committed this crime and you and you all you could have critically hurted him and i don't know if you y'all may not follow twins beauty supply but they're always getting robbed and i know why they get robbed because first of all they have top quality hair and i'm not saying that that makes them easy talking because you want your beauty supply to give you good hair um i know a lot of people don't believe in beauty supply hair but twins beauty supply you cannot go wrong you you will spend the money but they won't do you dirty my best friend has had her bundle since she was in 11th grade and she's been out of school for like she graduated in 2015 yes 2015 and um she still has them and they still look good but y'all like and they press charges apparently they press charges on people they don't care how big or how small you know whatever your stealing is but 500 dollars like that's a robbery and now you've put everyone in jeopardy because of what decision you decided to make and i'm just i just really hate that i had to witness that because i mean i'm not putting no shame to nobody game or whatever the case may be and i'm not trying to judge anybody but here i was at the store i had been saving my money uh because i had been working really hard this summer to afford those bundles and i try to buy myself everything i want because i give i i'm not afraid to give to anybody i give i give 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 but i was saving that money for me and here i was and look how quickly like something bad could have happened like i don't understand like why can't you just pay and i understand people running into hard times or whatever the case may be but you know i didn't run into some hard times too there was times when my mama couldn't afford to get our hair done but we had a good support system around us i remember uh my mom's friends they did our hair for school my mom didn't have no money they bought the hair to do us a little braids they did you know like if you don't so if you wanted to surround yourself by people who want to do bad for the rest of their life 
then you're gonna do bad for the rest of your life and that's just the reality of the situation because if your if your team was strong you would not be struggling you may not have much, but you'd have something to where you wouldn't have to go out there and steal from people who are trying to make a living, who are working hard for every coin that they have, like Twins has been doing for a very long time, you know? Like, how dare you think it's anywhere appropriate for you to come and take from them people? I, I don't know what the case may be, but y'all, I'm just giving y'all my story, talking about what happened and my input on it. It scared the hell out of me. First of all, I already live with anxiety. I um pretty bad anxiety. And just to see that unfold right in front of me, like how malicious, you know, people live with the intentions in their heart. It is just it is real out there. And you know, what if they had ran that man over cuz they very well could have. Because that is what they're being charged. Now, I wouldn't say that they ran him over. But like I said, he, I don't know if he was trying to open the door, was he holding the doorknob? But when he when when they pulled off you guys he like did like a full backflip onto the ground guys that's premeditated murder or that's what that's what they said that they were going to sue for so like y'all that is all i have to say for this story time i'm gonna just continue to pray baby because it seemed like ain't no you can't go to church you can't go to walmart you can't go to vegas Hell, you can't even go to the house though without running into something so freaking crazy. Y'all, we gotta be safe out here. Especially, you know, out here in the hood. I, I wouldn't say we live in the hood, but y'all know what I'm saying. If you if you know this side of town, like you just gotta be safe out here, y'all. That is all for this story time. This video is already 17 minutes long. And I think that that is it. That is all I need to say. So thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. And maybe who, you know, who don't, who know? Like, I might do another uh, story time because a, a lot of crazy stuff happened to me. It always happens to me. All right, y'all. This is it. Bye.